Well, good morning, everyone. Hopefully y'all can see. I got down here really early today. I actually just ran in the dark for a while, several miles to get to this spot. But today, we're gonna do something I've had a viewer, and you know who you are, pester the heck out of me about throwing a Ned rig. Well, now that it's winter, we just had a cold front come through. I figure fish are starting to shut down. Oh, might as well go ahead and throw something uh, finesse style. I have never thrown a Ned rig, so that's my disclaimer. If you're expecting this video to teach you everything, nope. If you want to watch a guy fish on a beautiful river and try this out, that's what this video is going to be about. Other disclaimer is this river is loaded. I'm talking thousands of little one pound bass. I expect to catch a lot of those with a lure this small. I've got two different styles today, a couple different weight jig heads. One's weedless, one is not, and this river is loaded with grass, so it's gonna be interesting. But I got the little tubes, and I got the regular TRDs by Z-Man. Tubes are very, very common up north and not common down here in Florida. But this river is loaded with a special type of bass called a swanee bass that's a lot like a smallmouth. And I have found over the years tubes are a perfect bait for them. So I'm going to try to catch some of those today as well. Let's get to fishing. Look at there. <laughs> that didn't take long at all, did it? Goodness gracious, that was quick. And look at there. Swanee bass is my first bass of the morning. It's that one I was telling y'all about. It's a pretty special bass. It's only found just in a couple rivers here in Florida. It's native to only Florida. Got a beautiful coloration on it. They got a real small mouth. They remind me a lot of a smallmouth bass even though we don't have smallmouth here in Florida. Check that out. A little swanee bass. They get chunky. Man, they fight so well for their size. I expect to catch a few of them on this type of lure. This seems perfect for swanee bass fishing. Yep, there was another one in there. It's like another swanee bass, how about that? Yep. Yep, I figured this style fishing is gonna kill these little swanee bass. Carbon copy of that last one. All right, there he is. He's little, <laughs> but really pretty. All right, I'm gonna do something that's gonna be a bit controversial and probably tick some of y'all off, but you know what, it's my boat. I'll do what I want. <laughs> well, I broke, uh, I broke the one off that had just the regular hook that was on that rod. And that's, I mean, that figures. I don't know if y'all can see, this river is just loaded with grass. It's very shallow. So I'm gonna have to do something weedless. So I thought ahead and, and bought some of these heads that have the little wires. I bent them out and now I should have a weedless bait. I'm also gonna try the tube. I really like fishing tubes. Kinda excited about this one. And if this doesn't catch anything, I'll go back to that regular TRD. But here's my setup. On that one, I had 10 pound fluorocarbon. On this one, I have 12. Yep, I know that's gonna be controversial to y'all. 12 pound, that's huge for a finesse rig. I know, I'm not rigged up for finesse fishing. I don't ever do it. So I'm just using what I have. And I know it's a bit controversial to probably use a bait caster too, but uh, man, I cast a bait caster so much better than I do old spinning reel especially on these old swift rivers where i'm flying down river and need to get up underneath stuff i'm just very comfortable and confident with a bait caster so if i think i'm gonna do a lot of finesse fishing 
this is new to me I will get me a real setup just for it tell you what I'm gonna go back to the regular old TRD tree down there and I was just flipping it over the logs another swanee bass yep I kind of figured this was uh gonna tear these little bass up they ain't monsters people but it's still fun to get out here and catch these fish if any of y'all watching this that fish Ned rigs a lot hey I'll take any pointers like I said this is all new to me Obviously, I know a lightweight rod with a fluorocarbon would be ideal. Look at here. We'll talk again in a minute. <laughs> All right. Old deep hole I was down in. Little tiny, large mouth. Might spin around and go back and fish that hole. Dang, these little hooks are hard to get out. Monster. All right, anyways, as I was saying before I goes rudely interrupted by that fish, tips, pointers, especially if y'all fish them a lot. What weight jig heads do y'all use? Keep in mind, I'm fishing, majority of the time I'm fishing very swift rivers, so I don't think I can get away with the super lightweight stuff. So what do y'all recommend for these rivers? Green pumpkin, obviously, is the number one choice for a clear water river like this. But uh, I think I'm using six of an ounce heads here, which is probably a bit heavy, but this river's swift. Y'all like the TRDs, the tubes? I need to look around to see what other baits they may offer. So, like I said, give me some pointers. Swimming off again. Got him that time. Little old large mouth. <laughs> Tell you what, this is kind of fun. I know, uh, I know, uh, these are all super small fish. But this is kind of fun. Oh, Lord, I may never get this hook out. I guess that's going to be another problem. Whoa, about to fall off the boat with these baits. They're so, so stinking tiny. Fish just swallow them. three out of that hole ain't no monster but he sadly he's a little better than the rest of them <laughs> I tell you what I'm having a blast all right look at old swanee bass they don't get very big Pretty colored large mouth. Man, look at them colors. Looks like a watermelon. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Got 
got him. Hey, maybe they like the TRD a little better. What we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Another little largey. <laughs> Man, these fish got some real pretty colors on them. That's, that's a little swanny bass. Look at them old red eyes. Uh-oh. Well, one was on it. There he is. Put it here. I'll be dang. Oh, he got off. Son of a gun. Got off. That was three in that same spot. That's the cool thing about wintertime. Well, fall. They tend to stack up and group together. One just got it. Nope. There we go. Uh oh, got him that time. I'll be dang, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wearing these little bass out. All right. All right. Little chubby guy. <laughs> Butter balls. Look at him in that old clear water swimming off. Pretty cool. I hope y'all don't mind watching me catch these little guys because it's fun. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ah, another little butterball. Tell you what, my line is frayed bad. It's time to retie. All right, let's try again. New hook. Look at there. I ain't believing this. I ain't believing this. It's a little guy, but still. That makes like, I think number seven out of that same hole. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. I done lost count. I come up to like 12 or 15 bass today. It's a little rig, dang sure works. And I know the guy that recommended screaming to his computer phone right now, I told you, I told you. Yeah, you told me, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Guys, I see like 10 bass. Oh, I think one's got it. Yep. <laughs> oh this is fun <laughs> oh this is fun well y'all i appreciate y'all for watching in case you haven't noticed i got a new camera so i'm trying to keep investing in the channel and uh upgrade my equipment make it a little better so hopefully this picture turns out good i'm kind of experimenting with that today but now this is allowing me to give y'all two different views at once so I don't miss anything. Tom, thank you so much for recommending the Ned Rig. It was a blast. I lost count of how many bass I caught today. I, I really don't know. 15, somewhere in that range, and it's early. I can stay here and probably wear them out. But I got to head on back and do some stuff. So thank you for recommending that. I know I probably fished it controversial, didn't fish it correctly today. Uh, but who cares, man? I tore the bass up on it. No big ones. 
kind of expected for this river catch a lot of little bass in it but hey catching fish is catching fish i had a blast doing it thank y'all for watching